Hello, good afternoon. Today we'll be discussing um, wild fire dynamics and the role that natural fire cycles and human intervention plays in this part. This is a very prevalent um, topic today as we are approaching summer, this risk will increase. To introduce, in 2022, 7.5 million acres of wild land was consumed by fire in the US. To put that into perspective, it's almost the size of the entire state of Florida. Natural fire cycles maintain ecosystem health and biodiversity by maintaining constant regeneration of plants and keeping soil nutrition high. Human intervention and climate change has exacerbated wildfire severity over the years with changing land use and um, campfire burns, cigarettes and the infamous 2020 um, baby shower in California that sparked a 10,000 acre wildfire. So some background. There is a difference between natural fire cycles and human instigated fires. A natural fire cycle usually happens on a span of one to five years or five to twenty five years depending on the different ecosystem. A natural fire by definition it's, um, it's a self rejuvenating cycle that the nature kind of instigates by if there's too much fuel above land in tree debris, in fallen leaves, on overgrown grass and mosses, the nature, it's, the environment itself will just start a fire, usually with temperature instigating it, and sweep through the ecosystem, but at a slower speed so it's easily maintainable, and with a lower temperature than a human instigated fire, which allows the ecosystem to grow back a lot faster after the burn. As on average, it takes 80 years for the ground to recover to the same nutrient level after a human instigated fire than compared to a natural one, which is only about five years. So some benefits of this, because as I mentioned that they're slow spreading, they're easily controlled, as you can see a firefighter in California. And there, it also maintains native species as America, of, over the previous decades has always been controlled by natural fire cycles. There are so many native species that rely on heat to survive. For example, the Pinus pondocero um, is a special type of cone that will only ever release its seeds once at a high enough temperature. And whilst most states in this country do get very hot, it is not at the same level of which a, a fire is. And by keeping this constant regeneration of species throughout the years, it promotes diverse habitat structures and prevents habitat fragmentation. But however, with a growing population in the US specifically, human intervention has been a natural side effect. One quote I came across from Justo um, is by Dr. Porcis and Keeley. Which, who they said, humans initiated a new stage in ecosystem fire, using it to make the earth more suited to their lifestyle. With more and more humans venturing into the wildlife, we have um, famous figures like Smokey the Bear to try and teach kids young to not throw away cigarettes into woods, make sure your campfires are out, control your baby showers and so on. So with more and more humans getting involved in nature, it was very likely that more wildfires would be started, but it was never expected to be at this level. So consequences of this, a natural thought of humans is that fire is bad. If you see a tree on fire, you, you immediately want to go and put it out. But in fact, that's not how nature was working before we came onto the scene. With our newfound fire suppression, we have actually added the fuel load into all forests across the US. So when that one cigarette butt gets thrown into that pile of leaves, the difference in the speed, size, intensity of the fire is, is vastly exacerbated because we have stored all this fuel in terms of greenery. And with increasing land use changes, we have, with roads especially, we have forced Many habitats become fragmented, so species can't spread, um, especially those native ones who aren't used to change. They're being greatly influenced by uh, the human intervention because they don't know how to adapt. 
and control fires where the one is to spread. Humans have been recorded to cause around 87 to 95% to 90% of all wildfires yearly in the US. And this isn't including controlled burns or anything like that. This is purely um, just ignition sources due to humans. Humans aren't the only reason to fault the new changing wildfires. Climatic influences is a natural environmental change that um, influences almost every process. However, the greatest changes have been the longest summers, which is extending the season where fires are most likely to get instigated. With an increase in average temperatures, those spark and intensity of the fires just grows. With low precipitation, you are getting dry vegetation, soil, which is just, which is dry, so there's not enough moisture to put out naturally any fires that are occurring. And earlier snow melts, which, are, which again are just expanding the summer seasons. All of these climatic influences have resulted on their own an increase in fire frequency by over 400%. And it has increased the amount of land burn by 650%. So whilst I'm not saying that I'm a fire starter or think everyone should be, I would like the change in notions for people's understanding of fire, as a natural fire cycle is very different from a human started fire. These are two photos that show a high intensity human started fire and a low intensity natural fire cycle. So you can see this has burnt trees all the way up due to the increased temperature and intensity of the blaze. Whereas the one on the right just shows it takes off the bottom layer, it wipes out a few shrubbery and doesn't leave the ground black and gray. So by increasing the fuel load on land by promoting these small intensity fires, we can actually save the woodlands in, in the future because we're not allowing travesties like this on the left to happen. So to, to conclude, the three main points I want Eve Pleasant to take away today is the large scale of wildfires is actually wiping out the United States. We hear stories every month of new wildfires started by all sorts, but to put it into comparison of a whole state of Florida just being burnt to the ground in one year, it's huge. And secondly, learning the difference between a human started fire and a natural fire, which leaves different impacts on the ecology, so socioeconomic impacts, and the longevity of plant diversity. And finally, human intervention and climate change has exacerbated wildfire severity beyond what anyone could have imagined. Thank you, thank you.